Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa, this is Safi. Hi. And today we are going to react to the last two House of Usher episodes. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> I have been editing the other episodes non-stop, so um, yeah, if you want you can already see the finale on my Patreon as well. And you can see all our full reactions to the episodes. They're very fun, so check them out. The link is in the description. Safi also has a YouTube channel, if you didn't know by now. <laughs> and they react to horror and play yep. horror games and stuff like that yes. so uh, check that out too and we just had the tammy episode yeah which was pretty fucked up yeah um but we have been talking about like um after we recorded those mm -hmm. and i said something like i feel like it's not gonna top the second episode I feel like nothing will. No, same. Even though it's not a high rated episode, I think it's one no. of the lowest rated ones. No, I think it's mainly because it's very um, unexpected. Like, yeah. um, Perry's death was very unexpected. And also, it was the first of all of them yeah. that happened. So it was kind of, you know. A bigger shock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and I think what was really fucked up about his dad is that it wasn't just him, it was like 78 people. Yeah. Who it was died? A lot of people, yeah. And just the way it was so gruesome, the way they couldn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at the other characters, it was just like Leo jumping over a balcony and. and yeah. Yeah, the thing with the heart was kind of fucked, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have been thinking about it a lot yeah. for, for the past few days because we constantly leave a few days in between the reactions. Uh -huh. But yeah, now we're going to react to Frederick's episode. Um, the pit and the pendulum. Yeah. The thing is, when we first said like, oh, he's fine this season, I kind of like him. And then he gave his wife cocaine. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, fuck, we Maybe misjudged not. him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm especially curious what is going to happen to the wife right now. Yeah, me too. Because it feels like such a scary situation, just lying there, not being able to do anything, mm -hmm. and then like yeah. he's keeping her trapped in her own body, like in her own prison, I guess. Right yeah, now, it seems like anyway. Yeah, it's it's really fucked up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm curious to see how he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, and what's gonna happen to the wife, how the daughter is gonna react, and also. Uh -huh. uh, We're excited to see Juno. So. <laughs> yeah, oh, I hope she's okay. I was thinking <laughs> about too. that too. Like, oh, she's so cute. I was editing I the fifth her. episode and just the way she's talking to them all and the way she's supporting Tammy at the thing. Yeah. Oh, she right. She her. got like hit in the head yeah. in the last episode. I almost forgot. I was like, something happened, but I don't remember yeah. what. <laughs> I felt so bad for yeah. her. I do I do think she's going to survive those because I am still pretty sure that she was at the funeral. Yeah. So it's whatever. <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Pluto? Ah, no. Oh, it's flashback. Oh, it is Frederick. Yep. Oh, cat tail. Hey, he's old now. I sneezed and he's old. Oh, wait, that's Roderick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, threw that truck out of the window. Mm-hmm. Is he wearing... What? What is he wearing under that t-shirt? Yeah. It looks like a blouse, but not, not a look. Yes, out the window. Yeah, do it. Take time out, yeah? Just put Tammy down. What is the problem? We're rehearsing, and he's making noise. Kids make noise, Roderick. I mean, yeah, but the truck is annoying as fuck. <laughs> she just turns it back on. Yeah. Like, you go. <laughs> well, the documents aren't for it unless he points and says, I didn't sign that. Without him, my case is can't blow the whistle without a whistleblower. He'll be fired. Yes. We can count on your help. I mean, as I much as like your word. This relationship is so yeah, weird to word. me. Like at first he is kind of against them, then he's with them, and now in the future he's like suing them or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit confusing. Boys give him hell. How about you? Got some luck at home? She puts up with a lot. So does he. Oh yeah, Both he was gay, right? Was yeah. I forgot about that. It's like. Got good people at home. Wait, I thought he was gay, but I kind of forgot about it. So I was yeah, like, same. wait, wait a minute. Was that him? <laughs> yeah, I think it was in the first episode or something he said that. Yeah. You know, I've thought about it over the years. Oh yeah, it was during an interview and then I've he was asking sense. about the husband. Yeah, true. That's why it didn't make sense in my mind. I was like, he didn't look like that. <laughs> yeah. Mal trusted her, so I trusted you. If she trusted you, fucking fool to lose her way you did. Ooh, are we finally gonna know? After what you did and I lost yeah. A lot. Makes sense for us to find out in this episode because yeah. it's Frederick's mom. Tammy's as well, but. <laughs> a lot of a cloud chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. 
where the fucking wind, Shakespeare? So that her hide will know. No, shut up. Don't you ever get tired of hearing yourself talk? Can't imagine how she hung on so long, frankly. I say to After the whole lemon speech, I get what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Lampire. <laughs> and though we usher. The only good usher. And you chased her away. The fuck? I just wanted to say the, the only, only good usher. And then he said oh. that. <laughs> the best of us. And so like her grandmother, too. Aww. All the best of Annabelle Lee without, without the broken heart. Hmm. So that's why he's so fond of his granddaughter. Because yeah. he just reminds him of his wife. Yeah. That's cute. I already Fuck thought it. the bond be between them was cute. Mm -hmm. If I said I never wondered how the fuck, fuck did this, this happen? happen? Oh. We paid how much? And he didn't think to knock when he heard glass breaking? Not one could stop my daughter from smashing a TV and assaulting my wife? Not one single person! My hands on her. I felt her go apart. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Shut up. Freddy is this swing boat where I see it. He's key to the play. Get him in here. Can't believe he only has one kid left. Mm -hmm. That must feel weird. Yeah, exactly. And probably knowing that he's going to lose that last he kid as well. Mm -hmm. AI, artificial consciousness. Tell them that if I'm in the chair, I take this company into the future. Leave all of this behind us. The whole rotten legacy goes out with Roderick and we rebrand as a tech company. Hmm. Isn't that what she wanted to do before as well? Because she went back to the office from the old boss. Yeah. And then she was like, yeah, I made this like digital and stuff. Yeah, I guess. Perhaps like when she say, was young. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. What the fuck? The pictures? Did he put all of those there? I guess. Wait, they're all the same picture? I think they're all from their wedding day. Yeah. It just looks oh like random close ups. Of <laughs> what is wrong with him? Ready. He's creepy. Yeah. Oh my god, no! Stop. He's going to kill her eventually. Yep. Just overdosing. That is so fucked up. Mm hmm. It works so fast, doesn't it? Did he do it already? Yeah. Oh my god. I heard Tamerlane killed herself with a fireplace poker. I can't figure out what that means. I wonder I if she's like dead already at this point. You, you smiled and it was so real. And I asked you why you did it and you said that you saw me standing there alone. And that looks like a guy who could use a friend. She's always been so nice, mm -hmm. and now this is what he's doing to her. Yeah, but it's also like, he assumes she was heart. like cheating on him with Prospero. And she never said that was true, he doesn't even know, he just like got that into his head and now he's like, yeah, so now I'm gonna do this to you. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck, just yeah, exactly. try to talk to her at least. Like, yeah, she went to the party. She shouldn't have gone to the party, but nothing yeah, happened there. That's where it ends, like, she only went there. Yeah, wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What if the daughter sees okay. this? She's gonna know something is wrong, right? It's an emergency. Mm -hmm. I'll be back when I can. Maybe we'll talk then. Where did you put your wedding ring? It wasn't on your hand. I saw footage from the party. I got some of your things back. Your purse, your effects. Where did you put the ring, Maury? She put it in a locker, right? Don't! Yeah, but she put all of the other things in the locker yeah, as well. Yeah, true. This is it, Freddy. They're all gone. It's all about to fall apart. I need to count on you. And when they call, and they will call, they corner you in the street. You tell them, I'm Frederick Usher. I'm the repository of the hopes and dreams of a fucking empire. So take your treacherous bullshit elsewhere. Can you do that? I can. He is such a loser. Mm -hmm. Can't believe we liked him. Fact, yeah. Just because he was he was an idiot, basically. Yeah, exactly. Like you he, he seems ooh, I'm no? asking you. I'm okay. on watch. <laughs> Thirteen hundred. Oh, okay. Right. And then this happens and they want to up it and but you're still my doctor, right? Oh. Do you have kids? Yes. Stepkids? They ever call you a junkie? <laughs> no. Mine did. They're all gone now. It just makes you think life is so fucking short. Maybe if they had just been nice to June, or they would have been alive. <laughs> Maybe it was just I karma. Yeah. Ligodone has a low incidence of addiction, if used correctly. How do I get off this perfectly safe, non-addictive drug? Very, very slowly. As well, I am the positive. Every time he's in that room, I'm just scared. Impact, so yeah. It's weird. It's so weird. Like, every picture is from that same picture, yeah. but just cropped differently. 
Also, that is a waste of paper. Yep. <laughs> Save the trees. <laughs> Save the trees, guys. Tweak, <laughs> but things are moving fast here. I really need that building to come down. I need it done. Give me a, a ball and a fucking crane. I want to see that building come down. Okay. Oh, oh. It's amazing. Please don't give My her any life, more. Right? And then suddenly, the new CEO. There he goes. <laughs> Accommodating you, Maury. One thing Dad was really big about. I honestly think he's the one I'm the most okay with if he dies. Yeah. I mean, they're all, like, shitty, but he's- this is straight up just evil. fucked up. Yeah, yeah exactly. No. Dad was big on getting your house in order. You don't have to be a tyrant, but if you don't want to be consistently cruel, then you have to be sufficiently brutal, at least once, to establish authority. Oh, I think he's yeah, just gonna change smile. the bandages. Yes, yeah, same, but I'm, I'm not. I'm scared. I don't yeah, trust him. No, exactly. How could he be this evil? Yeah, I, like he was such an idiot. Mm -hmm. You already have just gotta put our house back in order. Let's do this once. Let's do it fast. Then we can start to heal. <gasps> oh, well, I'm what did he do? Wait, did it's he pull out her teeth? Did he cut out her but tongue? Tongue. Yeah, so she out. wouldn't like talk or anything. And if you ever take it off again, or the finger, I'll weld oh. it to your fucking finger. What the fuck did he do? Oh, please let him die already, so the woman is safe. Please. That ball is gonna swing at 8 p.m. tonight. That building is coming down, or else I'm gonna I'm gonna come over there and I'm gonna pull out your fucking teeth with a pair of pliers. Yeah, I think that's what he did. Because yeah. you also heard them in the little thing. Where are you going? Oh, I didn't catch that. I just kind of assumed. I found this place. Don't like teeth gore that's either. Nope. Top notch skin graph work and everything on campus. It would have honestly been best if she had just died yep. in the party. Exactly. Like she's suffering the same fate now, but much worse. Yeah. She'd be better off someplace else. Where are they? The specialists. The doctors. Everyone you promised would when be you're here. At school. They come here a lot of the time, but she is fine. I don't believe you. Good. You smell like shit and you look like shit and you're acting weird. Watch it. This stop, I can't minor. do this today. I need stop call. It. Stop! Stop it! Stop! If anybody spoke to me like this, there would be repercussions. Do not get a free pass because you are my daughter. Oh, asshole. Yeah. Go into the room first and then um, see what you find. Mm -hmm. Your mother is resting. Yeah, at this point. leave her alone while I'm gone. My hair is oh. okay. <laughs> Oh, he locked it. Ma? Of course he did. Ma, can yeah. you hear me in there? Break down that door, Lord Moore. Yeah. We about to see the ghost. I gotta tell you, those noises are starting to really bother me. I think we ought to go down and make sure she's... Let me guess. That's Lenore. Bingo. You know what? No. Oh, um, no. Is please. he gonna go downstairs? Why but we haven't heard the rest of the story. Of but there's something up with Madeline, too. You're getting mm -hmm. something out of it. Good luck with the dementia. You'll have me on murder. That's where we're going. More than one. Actually. I don't think he's talking about the kids. No shame. Probably Juno and Madeline. No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want Juno to be dead, but I think you're right. Yeah. Right here. In fact. Frederick ghost too. time. That's Freddy. I expect. They've been at me all night. Make sure I get their stories right. Hmm. My personal hell is being micromanaged. Sudden, I spot a little hint of Freddy, but I try to ignore it because you can't see him. Joy I really hope he dies a painful death. You look at me like mm -hmm. I'm not the insane. worst. Old friend. Freddy is gonna peek up from behind the chair and show off his C-section hey. scar. <laughs> They're all in the house. Not what we expected, I guess. No. I was like, what the hell, C-section? Yeah. They look so normal and not dead. Wanted Freddy to see his daddy be a hero. Oh no. Oh, not in his child form. Oh, yeah, he is gonna die painful death. Whoa. <sighs> Seems like he deserves worse death. Yeah, true. <laughs> And what purpose does the form serve? Objection. Uh, it, it's an agreement between the patient, the provider. Anything strike you as unusual about that document? Objection. 
That is so annoying. But, mm -hmm. but the fact that it's here, these are confidential. These are property of the company. Have you ever signed as a witness on a CFC? Yes, I have. And is this your signature? Yes, it is. How about this one? Yep. That too, that's mine. But to be they clear, weren't really his, were they? You're telling us no. that you were aware of and signed this form? Yes. Objection. He's your witness, Pam. Mr. Usher. Maybe this is why they have beef now. Yeah, Mr. because Usher, they didn't discuss that, right? No. Had any, anyone at Fortunato spoken to you about today's deposition? No, not at all. Your man there wouldn't leave us alone. Stopped by my home on multiple occasions pressing oh this issue. Oh my god. So yes, I agreed to appear. I'd hope by appearing here under the bus. and you would do me the kindness of letting my family be in peace. Oh, uh-oh. Madeline knew. Mm -hmm. What's happening? No, don't say anything. Say anything. Yeah, yeah you already know Madeline, 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 Madeline is the one who convinced Roger to say to Yeah, but it's also her smile when he walked out. Mm-hmm. Not another word, not here. I will meet you at home. I feel bad for her. She doesn't know anything. No. You knew this was gonna happen? Of course. My husband is in jail. He'll be out before dinner. You it's Japan's word against ours. The fuck? Is wrong with you? Roderick was gonna do the right thing. He was gonna be a hero. He did the right thing. You fucking simpleton. But you mean? I love her. Idiot. Yeah. Like um, down the whole Annabelle. Mm -hmm. Roderick Usher. He is a fucking hero. You're gonna be swimming in money and promotions and protections by lunchtime tomorrow. You'll be in a new house by Christmas. If you'd done it your way, Junado would have sued you into a fucking. So that's how they Jesus. got rich. Mm -hmm. I they did the not play fair. So you could suck his dick twice a week in your set. You never have to work a day in your life. And I thought, good for her. This is really you, isn't it? Oh. And the kitty plate. <laughs> you are so small. <laughs> your baby's crying. I wasn't sure if that was a baby or a cat. Or a cat. Yeah, same. It's like we've had this, right? Yeah. And then I wasn't sure if it was in the TV or if it was Simba. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's what? a wig. What? It's not even that much of a difference. <laughs> no. <laughs> like it was gonna be a big reveal. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a little thinner hair. Yeah. Is she the real Madeline then? There has to be a reason she's wearing that wig. Yeah. Joan is awful. Oh, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> All right, I know you're here. Is this what happened to Madeline? Are we gonna find out now? Have a seat. I oh. guess so. Is that the mom? <gasps> oh! It's the mommy! <laughs> it's mommy! <laughs> He's been coming here a lot. Over the last few weeks. And you should see the basement. He's got boxes of stuff down there. It really is you. It's amazing how much I've denied. Somehow I knew you'd be here. Well, I left you the address. Don't pat yourself too hard on the back. Do you think this is her true form? Go ahead. I don't know. I want to ask you to stop. And frankly, I think you've forgotten what I am. Fine, then. I want to renegotiate. You can't. I want new terms, and I shall have new terms. Or have you forgotten what I am? There she is. There's my Cleo. Did Everything they make like a, a deal? I every guess. Every deal is simply an expression of will, mutual yeah. will. A deal with the devil. Woman to woman. I'm not a woman. You know what I am capable of. That was cruel. I apologize. Should She's back. Mm -hmm. Oh, reincarnation at yes. its finest. <laughs> I see all three standing shoulder to shoulder. They break my heart. Who? So just all versions of Mal Madeline break her heart. Ah. I think that's what she meant. You find a locked door, you pry it open. Mom? Yep. Oh, yeah, let's go. Mom! Call for help, please. Uh -huh. I hope the dad doesn't find her in there. No. Don't be stupid. My own wife trying to get off my own drug is a PR nightmare. I just want to be off it. I mean, they don't have to know, though, do they? No, exactly. It's not addictive. But if you try to get off it, you can expect mood changes and sleep changes and physical changes, flu symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramping, dilated pupils. So, withdrawal. 
Yeah. So it is addictive? It is. That's what you're saying? Your heartbeat, though tired, you can't sleep. So exhausted that you can't relax. It sounds like Tammy used Basically, to be on the, the drug. Analogy, yeah. Pulled out, slow, 10% reduction per month. Three agonizing years. What the fuck have you done? Haven't you sucked a few cocks for a fix before we met? Or am I confusing you with somebody else? You're a monster, you know that? I married a monster. No, dear. I'm Victor Frankenstein. You're the monster. You? Oh my god, my that is so messed up. Mm -hmm. was I thought that you loved me. You are a miracle. My drug is water and you're a flower. You are the I thought she was a monster. He literally just called her that. Yeah. You know, the, the moment I started to feel really bad for her was when she was at Tammy's thing and she was just like, I'm, I'm just trying to support you. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that is so cute. And now I feel so bad for her. Yeah, exactly. Three years. And when she was talking with... But she got turned down so hard. While she was yeah. just trying to be Oh, yeah, helpful. I think that was also Tammy yeah. when she was talking about... It or and also when she said like, oh, Let I'm so sorry about Camille. And everyone's just being rude to, that, to her. Yeah. Like, nobody lets her in. No. I mean, they don't even let the, the bastards in. So I will take let alone someone who married into the family. Yeah. Over a lifetime with you. Good call. Mm-hmm. Easy. Yes, run away. You should know there's common oh. ground between us. You might accuse me of being the broker of suffering. I could say the same of you. But I consider myself more its witness. We're getting very Here little Frederick stuff considering this is his death episode yeah i just think because it's near the end there's so much we still need to find out yeah i can give you something for it not yeah, a drug. next episode gonna be wild it's mm -hmm. pretty long too years ago i offered you certainty tonight clarity your brother you know what he would have been a poet that's where his talent was a broke poet sure is there another kind here's one came to me when you Adorable little things started building cities. I call it the city in the sea. Death has reared himself a throne in a strange city far down within the dim west, gone to their eternal rest. But light from out the lurid sea. Seriously, what is up with the wall? Mm -hmm. They keep showing it. Oh, is that the building? Yeah. Are they showing like all of the. Places? No, well, he not. was talking on the phone about like the breaking it down. So, oh right, 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 that was that place. The waves have now a redder glow down, down that town. I really hope they can still save her if it's only just for the daughter. And I think she also wants to be with the daughter, even though she's in so much pain. Exactly. I mean, the daughter is the only one who's there for her. Yeah. I thought you were offering clarity. It'll come to you. Mm. I'm so curious about Frederick's death, though. Yeah. Because, like, how the hell did he get cut in hey, half? Hey, we'll I think something with the, you know, the things, the cranes or something. Oh, he's... Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna be it. Let me have your radio. I need five minutes inside. I have to do something. Oh, no. Come on, man. Five minutes. It would be cool if the last dad would be in the same place as the first dad. I was thinking that as well. <laughs> like, ending it where it started. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. <laughs> Oh, they cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> they scraped the flesh from the floor. <laughs> Should have died here, honey. Oh, made you an honest woman. Prospero, my brother. One last thing to say to you. Rest in pee, fuckface. Oh. He's such a child. Yeah, he is. Can't believe he's the oldest one. <sighs> yeah. Now what? Jump scare? I, I think so. Oh, oh he just... Oh, that's it. <laughs> he died. <laughs> that's his death. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Do you think he's like paralyzed now? And But how? When then they he... start smashing down the building. Yeah, exactly. This is embarrassing. What if he didn't drug the wife with cocaine? Maybe it was like actual it's drug stuff and he now. just took that yeah. instead of cocaine. Oh. Gonna let it fly? I'm not sure though. You're the boss. Paralytic. Yeah, then you know it's speaking, time. I try to yeah. never intervene. The, the pliers got me thinking. Yeah, you good? More. What? More. She was there all along. More. She's making him overdose? Uh, I guess. Ooh. I don't think he's overdosing though. I think he's just like paralyzed, just like he did to his wife. 
Yeah. Oh, like, took the wrong stuff. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, I mean, he is taking her stuff, right? So... Yeah. And he's still awake and everything. Mm -hmm. He just can't move. Honey, you earned it. All clear. Start the fucking music. <gasps> Are you clear? Fuck did I say? Swing it. Does sound like him. <laughs> yeah. He would have been a dentist. And a pretty good one. That was an amazing voice impression, though. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> no need to panic. No need to worry what's lurking around the corner. I'm finally, finally here. Oh, that is terrifying, though. Yeah. It's good to know that he's dying, like, or he's he's scared in his most, yeah. in his last moments of being alive. Like, I want him to have as much pain as possible. He deserves that much. <laughs> I could have done this just about any way I wanted to. Could have had a heart attack in your car. Cope would have teed that up nicely. But then you had to bring her home. Oh, the wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it gonna be like a slow cut like in Saw? Ooh. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Appointment with your See dad. you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He's not even gonna be able to scream though. Nope. Or make any sound. Oh. And it's still no fucking excuse. Ooh. Oh, this is scary. Oh. And so it starts. God, that is fucked up. I oh. hate that. Yeah, same. Like, he deserves it, but I hate it. Mm -hmm. Bye, Frederick. Back it was so wall. fucked that they did it with the child version, though, in the yeah. flashback or in the interview. I mean, uh huh. Oh, she's there. I keep mixing up the timelines. I constantly think this is now where she's probably dead in the basement. Yeah. Dead. That means there's just us left. You remember, into the world together, out of the world together, or there is no deal. That's what she said. And I think you know that too. Are they both dead? Already? Not now, but... Um, oh, later. Yeah, like during the, the, the interview. Or he doesn't want to die together, so he kills her. Yeah, that could also be... Either way, Madeline's gonna be behind that wall. Yeah, I think so too. You have to take them all at once, because if you stop, it can hurt, as you well know. Fast, you won't feel it. Your, your blood pressure will drop. No other way. There's not. This is it. Like, why isn't she doing it at the same time then? No, exactly. That's a kid. You're saving us all. You're a legend. He's, she's not taking them. No, but is he? Because he's not gonna die, right? I don't know. We've only seen him in that house. Yeah, it's true, though. Everyone is in that house. True. She didn't do it, though. No. Maybe Carla will give her a hand. Mm -hmm. Are we ever gonna find out? Maybe in the last episode. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. That means Lenore and Juno are all alone. I don't think Juno minds though. She left anyway. Yeah. But Lenore. Maybe. That's why he doesn't answer the phone, because he can't. Because he's dead. What if he just died? Oh, oh it's, it's fine. Okay. He's oh, wait, 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 oh. Can't let you out that easy. I thought maybe it was gonna be his mom. Again. No, she chooses who lives and who dies, I think. Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I thought that was quite entertaining. Same, I thought that was a good episode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the last two are the highest rated ones, so... Yeah. Although I will say there was a lot of, uh, you know, for example, in the court, just a lot of business talk, a lot of kind of, not really politics, but verging on those kind of subjects. And I don't really understand those, so that didn't help. But I thought that Frederick's death was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and that helps. Also, it was satisfying because he deserved it. Yeah, after what he did to the wife. Yeah. Like, all of them were bad people, but he was, like, 
beyond bad. The worst. Yeah. Like, how could you do that to your own wife? Exactly. Because of an assumption you made. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think he was just obviously super damaged because he thinks, he believes that his wife um, cheated on him and then all of his siblings, even if he didn't necessarily like them, but they did all die. And mm-hmm. I think he was just being paranoid because he's yeah. the, the oldest. They're going from age. So he probably knew deep down or something. Yeah, and I mean, in the end, they all saw things that weren't there, so... Yeah. Like, they all went a little crazy in the end, so. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I hope the mom is gonna be okay, though, but the daughter called for help now, so... Yeah. yeah she's getting the help she needs now, I, I hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the biggest mystery right now... Like, the last episode is one hour and 15 minutes, yep. and I have no idea what's gonna happen, because all the siblings died already, and, I mean, there's a lot we still have to find out, like, what's up with the wall, what's Madeline doing? Like, she said to get her out of this world so you would think she'd kill herself too but she didn't so oh. where is she uh-huh um, oh and uh, um <clears throat> like frederick and tammy's mom the annabelle oh yeah we don't know what happened to her like True. you're being a little bit shady about it i guess it's just like oh she's gone but is she dead did she leave exactly like i feel like they want us to believe she's dead but i think there's also more to that indeed yeah Ooh. oh we can see the things now yeah, and every dad was a different color. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, okay, you can't really see it that well. You know what? I'll just put it in the video. Mm-hmm. Um, but I kind of noticed it when I was making the thumbnails. Yeah. Because it was constantly like, oh, this thumbnail is way too red. Oh, this is way too <laughs> yellow. And now I'm like, ah, yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, when Madeline took off the wig. That was so weird, and I don't really get the reason. Like it was such a, a useless like hair reveal. Yeah, like it just looked like she took off her clip-on bangs. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and it was a little bit more gray than blonde. Yeah, <laughs> because at first I thought when she was doing it, I was like, oh, maybe she's sick as well, and maybe she's yeah. bald or something. I thought, I thought she was bald, and then she wasn't, and I was like. Well, what, what was the what point? It, yeah, for real. Maybe that's also something we'll still have to find <laughs> yeah. out. But I don't get why she was wearing a wig, to no. be honest. Okay, we got the story for this episode, so I'm gonna read it. It's a bit shorter than the other ones, luckily. The Pit and the Pendulum is a short story written by Edgar Allan Poe, first published in 1842. It is a chilling tale of suspense and horror set during the Spanish Spanish Inquisition. The story is narrated by an unnamed protagonist who has been sentenced to death and finds himself confined in a pitch black dungeon. As he explores his surroundings, he discovers a deep pit in the center of the room. Fearing falling into it, he moves to the other side and stumbles upon a pendulum hanging from the ceiling, slowly descending towards him. As the pendulum swings closer, the protagonist narrowly avoids being sliced in half by smearing meat from his captors on his ropes, attracting rats to chew through them. He is temporarily safe, but then faces another danger, an immense heat that causes the walls to close in, threatening to crush him. Just as he is about to be crushed, French troops invade the dungeon, rescuing him from the from his impending doom. The pit and the pendulum showcases Poe's mastery of suspense and his ability to create a sense of claustrophobia and independent doom. It explores themes of fear, torture, and the triumph of the human spirit in the face of extreme Adverse adversity. Okay, I see what they did there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it earlier because uh, a pendulum is like a little swingy thing, yeah. <laughs> and I thought, oh, it's the wrecking ball. Oh and yeah, and then it ended up being the thing that, um, that sliced him. Yeah, that sliced him in half, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, that that's... that didn't click until you were reading it just now, and I was like, oh, yep. that was the pendulum, not the wrecking ball. Oh yeah, or maybe both of them were. I don't know. They, they were both swinging. So. Yeah, true. <laughs> no, but that's also what we talked about before. Like, every time you think you know how they're going to die, I thought, okay, the wrecking ball's going to hit him. And then yeah. that is another thing. Like, every time. Yeah, I thought maybe it was like, you know, the wrecking ball hitting a brick and it just hit oh, him. But I was like, no, because that doesn't make sense. Because how would he get torn in half? Yeah, for real. I thought that was really cool, though. the um The whole pendulum thing, slicing him. Yeah, it was horrible, but it was cool. <laughs> yeah, it did really remind me of one of the saw deaths, though. Yeah. Like, it, something very similar happened there, but okay. with, a, with a 
saw or an axe or something or also saw. swinging <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 I, I i'm not sure like the only thing i i don't really understand right now is the whole madeline thing i feel like i don't know if we missed stuff or if it's just all gonna be explained but mm -hmm. yeah i think we'll have to see in the next episode so that was our reaction for this one let me know what you thought of it and check out my patreon if you already want to see our reaction to the finale also yes. check out Sefi's channel and yeah then that was it so if you liked yep. it please leave a like subscribe and then we hope to see you next time bye, bye, -bye. <laughs>